Hey guys, welcome back. Kirby, got a question. Let's say you didn't have the assets you have now. If $2 million, you keep the knowledge, just let's just say you don't have assets. If $2 million showed up in your bank account, would you go to work the next day? If the $2 million showed up on Monday, I'd be at work on Monday too. So let's say the let's say say the two million dollars showed up at seven o'clock and I had to be at work at eight. I'd be at work at eight because I'd be broke by eight o'clock. And what I mean by broke by eight o'clock is I would invest every dime if I had the knowledge. I would invest every dime. So my checking account will go from zero to two million to zero again because it'll all be invested somewhere else. I wouldn't go buy a Twix, Kit Kat, Snickers. I wouldn't buy a new pair of shoes. I wouldn't buy nothing. And now I'm saying with two million dollars. Some of y'all get lump sums with 30000 25000 and y'all can keep it for two months before y'all blow it all. I would invest every single penny. Hell, if $2 million showed in my bank account right now, I'll still be broke by tomorrow because I'm investing every single dime. That's that's what I would do. I, me, I believe in cash flow. I can make that money cash flow and still keep the $2 million, but make cash flow and start paying for other assets but i would just keep investing the dollar amount the lump sum amount wouldn't change nothing that i do how i operate or anything else like that now once i've invested it and i've generated enough cash flow and it you know 2x 3x 4x that just the income of what my job is paying me then i won't work no more but i wouldn't have spent the, the two million dollars either okay gotcha gotcha yeah, if I had gotten two million, I would invest it, obviously. But I don't know if I would go to work because not that I would be using from the two million, but as soon as I can generate cash flow from the two million invested, I wouldn't. I just, I, I just hate the idea of working for somebody and if i know for a fact i don't have to i think i would take that option to get out so two million invested i would be comfortable with knowing that that cash flow could separate me from it plus i could still invest because let's say you make 10 percent on the two million 200 grand i would live well below that and um you know, and then from there, I could just just focus on growing the investments rather than putting time at a job I don't want to be at. But all right, so let me let me go a little further. Why I would work? All right, I would work for a couple reasons. First off, let's just say, let's say if I put it into the real estate market, right? If I put it in a real estate market, I'm not paying cash for the assets. That's one. Because I'm not paying for cash for the assets, I need to show that I have a job that's bringing in cash flow to pay for the assets. That's one reason. The other reason, if I got it and then let's say I put it in the stock market, if I use, just use the same strategy, because like you said, I have the same knowledge. If I use the same uh, knowledge as stock market, stock market to real estate, real estate back to stock market and just using that funnel. Until I have two years of real estate income, it don't count as income that I can use for buying more real estate assets. And that's the reason why I'm leveraging it that way instead of just quitting the job, especially if I'm starting at zero. And so those are the nuances of reasons why. It's not because I'm like, oh, I'm so loyal to a job. Hell the job. That's not having yeah. to do with it. It don't have nothing to do with the income from the job. It's the... It's the leverage that I need for banks to consider me, you know, somebody that's uh, uh, a safe, a safe uh, investment or a safe person to take a risk on because he has a job and he could pay for it if not, uh, if nothing yeah. else. Because they, no matter how much money you have sitting in your bank account, they won't sit there and be like, oh, well, he got two million dollars in the bank account, he can afford this because they know the bank know just like I know. He can show that $2 million today and that $2 million could be gone tomorrow. And yeah, spend it on okay. something else and then I become a risky person. So that's the reason why I would stay okay. there. But it'll be about two years. So those would be the reasons behind why I stay there. Okay. Yeah, so the way I asked the question to you is because I already know that, like, if you wanted to, you could leave your job right now. So that's why I try to word it differently. Like, but let's say this. Let's say 
let's say you were on my level, right? Where like you're just there, right? Like cash flow is probably just meeting right at borderline where your expenses are, maybe a little bit above. If two million hit your account and you had assets, let's say you already had some real estate for two years, two million hit your account, would you still stay at the job or would you just like take that and just run with it and try to give it your all from there? Uh, that's a great question. Now, at first you said I started with zero. See, yeah, now, I know. That's why, because I, I see but, what you're saying now, so still, I'm trying to change it up. Yeah, but still uh, still today, two million hit my account today. Because no, I'm the thing is, no, I'm not looking at the money as it's money that I'm going to spend. I'm just going to invest in assets. Now, right. once I start investing and then... They just look at, they'll just be like, all right, we don't even care about you. I mean, of course, if I use DSCR or something like that, but I'm still going to be looking for the best terms there is. So if I need a job to get the best terms, then so be it. But I don't, I'm not planning on looking for a job. For I'm not planning on being there for five, six, seven more years. Hell, if I got $2 million today or not, I still don't plan on doing that. But I want to know for sure that I got everything lock, stock, and barrel. Got my, make sure my tax return is looking right. To make sure i'm still on the you know still looking good to you know bankers and stuff like that even though you know i'm doing seller finance deals now and i don't need none of that stuff but i'll eventually get back to the banks you know i want to get more into the commercial space i'm not for sure exactly what the commercial people need i know it's more based on the assets but i want to make sure i'm 100 percent sure that i don't need this to leverage just for the aspect of them saying oh he got a job he's a more safer risk than somebody that don't and once i figure all that out i'm out of there Okay. Gone. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. That makes sense. With all that being said, guys, uh, let us know what you would do down below in the comment section. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button, share, subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one.